Good morning, folks. My name is Dan. I'm a digital marketing consultant. And over the last, oh, I don't know, three years, I've been putting together videos every month about the life of a freelance digital marketer. As you will have seen, there's been quite a big gap since the last set of videos, which I had to check and was like, damn, it's nine months ago. That time has gone very quickly. So I wanted to kind of give you guys a bit of an update about what crudely has gone on in that space of time and kind of bring you up to speed with what immediate impact has happened to both the world of freelancers with everything that is going on in the world of the coronavirus pandemic. So as you can see from around me, um, I'm in a different house. So I think I touched on many months ago now that I was looking to move. And that was a bit of a painful process, um, not gonna lie, but ended up finding a place back in September 2019, moved in just before Christmas 2019. And yeah, that, to be honest, that's where the majority of time has gone, that and work, um, not much else in between. So I previously was in a little town called Tynmouth, which no one has ever really heard of unless you happen to be in Devon. Um, I've now moved up to the bright lights of Exeter, um, also in Devon. So just in case you're not sure where Devon is or you're viewing this from elsewhere, it's in the southwest of the UK. It's a nice little cathedral city, um, surrounded basically by loads of countryside and it's close to the coast. So it's a lovely place to be. This is also explains the interesting choice of wall colors and why the ladder is over there as well, because over the last couple of months, of course, have been DIYing everything in terms of trying to get the place redecorated because it, ne it needs some love is the best way to describe that. So, Aside from the moving aspect, which to be honest took up way more time and energy than I was probably anticipating it would, um, I haven't had much time or energy to do much else other than that. And work, work itself over the last few months has been, the best way to describe it, really consistent um, in that I've been working with the same client base. And obviously with what I've touched on before in terms of digital marketing, it works on monthly retainers. So it's just been very steady, a bit up, a bit down, but you know, you know nothing particularly to write home about. Um, then I believe March the 16th, 2020 was the day that everything got sort of thrown in the air, um, both for me and pretty much every other marketer out there. Off the back of the coronavirus epidemic, which is obviously sweeping through different parts of the world, March the 16th seemed to be the day that UK businesses seemed to go, we need to stop stuff uh, instantaneously. So with these videos, I try to be as honest as I can. And over the course of that week, I had some cuts, but not too bad, all things considered, compared to a lot of other people. So other marketers that I know that are in a freelance game, have lost their entire client base within a single week. And I can't imagine how rubbish the, a situation that must be on a personal and professional level. For me, as I say, that week, that horrible, horrible week wasn't too bad. I sort of got to the Friday and go, Phew, I've, got, I've got through that. However, the next few weeks, it's kind of chipped away bit by bit by bit. And to be honest, there's still a couple of things which are a little bit insecure. But overall, I've probably lost about 40% of my recurring monthly revenue. So I'm probably now at a point where I've had my worst month in about two and a half years. I'm still able to keep my head above water, and to be honest, that's the main thing. But yeah, it has not been a fun time for, for anyone, admittedly, but certainly from a self-employed business perspective, there's been a lot of propping up and honest conversations with clients about kind of what we can do, can't do with available budgets. Having said that though, there has been an odd number of leads that have come in. And I mean, from the perspective of the timing, I was expecting them to dry up entirely. In a roundabout way though, the, the leads sort of, sort of split into two in that a lot of work would traditionally sort of go through a process where at most it would take a couple of weeks in order to be able to sign off. At this stage, you've got a lot more tire kickers. So people that just seem oddly curious and you know, don't get me wrong, I know people have got their own lives to get on with at this very weird time. So there's been a lot of people that have had initial emails or even initial phone calls and then they just disappear into the ether, which has been frustrating from the point of view of having to spend a lot of time and effort trying to talk to them and then you, your time is wasted. The other avenue seems to have been businesses that are really looking at the long-term strategic stuff. So this, especially the lockdown period here in the UK, seems to have given a lot of time for businesses to actually reflect on what they're doing in terms of strategic direction, or also to get on with those projects which 
they've been meaning to get around through for ages. So there's a lot of like website consultations and campaigns planned for later in the year. And in terms of the leads for that, they've been surprisingly good. But the downside is that because they're kind of looking at that long term view, sign off process is a lot longer. And even if in some of the instances, if they sign off, the actual work itself doesn't begin easily for another couple of months. So in this interim, if we're looking at sort of total hours completed, mine sort of was plateauing, 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 has really dropped down a bit enough, and then we'll obviously hopefully pick up back again in the future. So as I say, in terms of work, it's like good, I've got enough to keep my head above water, but in a roundabout way, in similar respects to what I was just saying about the businesses themselves, I'm hoping that I can now plough that additional time, which I didn't previously have, into a few different areas. So one is my own marketing. So I've been investing more time into optimizing my website, making sure there's decent case studies on there to basically make my digital presence look as good as it possibly can be at this moment in time. It's also given me the time and to be honest, the headspace in order to be able to plow that into the other businesses that I've been trying to set up. I call them businesses. They're probably more side hustles at the moment as an official definition. But as I've touched on in previous videos, um, number one is the way of words. So that is our verbal identity business that I run with my business partner. Off the back of that, again, working on the SEO, working on the content marketing for that, trying to sort of build that up. Again, I read a fantastic quote a couple of uh, weeks ago that basically said, you're not going to blog your way out of this situation. And I was like, yes, that makes sense. But so in the short term, no, it's not going to win any more work, but it gives us some good breathing space and to put some proper content on that website in the long term, which will help with that. You know, one thing was start to, I don't want to say go back to normal, but at least sort of the situation should improve in some respects. The other area, um, is, or is also a freelancing. And I can't remember if I discussed this, but over the course of the last year, um, I've been putting together a course called Freelance in 50 Lessons. So essentially it's a bit like these vlogs, but goes into a lot more very granular detail about the processes, particularly in business, that you need to be able to set up and run and think about in terms of becoming a successful freelance digital marketer. So that is all now built. Um, it's built and basically ready to go, but again, need to put the time into the actual marketing of it. In itself, I don't want to sort of do it a disservice. So I will, for that, I don't really want to do it a disservice. So we'll eventually put together a proper video in itself about that one as well. So yeah, I mean, as I say, there are a lot of people who have been in far worse circumstances than me. And I don't put that down to any degree of skill or experience that I've had. To be honest, the clients that have or haven't dropped are just totally luck of the industry which I've ended up working in with them. You've got some industries which are quite buoyant at the moment, you've got some industries which are going through the roof at the moment, and you've got others, you know, take the travel industry for example, that have just come to absolute nothing. And in saying all that, the, the clients you end up working with, obviously you're dependent on their success, and it's just pure luck as to who you have or haven't worked with um, as a result of the economic impact which has fallen out now. So yeah, at the moment it's not been great, but it could be a lot worse is the best way to describe it. But without trying to sound too cliched, um, optimistic-ish about the future. Um, there seems to be, as I say, there's leads coming through and to be honest, that would be the worry if that had totally dried up because it means that somewhere, God knows where, but in the universe, there is businesses that want to invest in their digital marketing at the moment and should invest in their digital marketing. Maybe that is a topic for another video because um, there's a lot of arguments in favour of it. So I hope that kind of very briefly brings you up to speed with kind of what's been going on up till now. If in the meantime you've got any questions about freelancing and coronavirus or freelancing just in general because you might find yourself furloughed or redundant or whatever it is, as always with any of these videos, then please feel free to drop me a message you can either stick a question in the box below so other people can read them if it's something you want to share publicly or i'm always linked to my social media channels if you want to reach out to me on that so thank you very much for watching um, i'm trying to as i say i've got a bit more time now so able to do a few more videos on a regular basis i've got a list got a plan so uh, they'll get done at some point so yeah thank you very much for watching as always if you'd like to give this a like then please feel free to do so and if you want to carry on seeing what the future holds for both me and the freelance digital marketing industry then hit that subscribe button as well and i will be back next time with another video at some point in the not too distant future so thanks very much for watching and i'll see you then